Hi everyone, it's me, Spring, the Fiber Enthusiast. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do the matching cowl to the hat for a child. So, small toddler, medium-sized toddler, even a large infant. Um, we're going to do this cowl. We already have the hat done. I'll add that link down in the description box to the hat. And these are sets for wings. So if you're interested in sending a set to Rose from Rose Likes Crochet with wings, how she's collecting for wings, uh, September is winter sets. And I know we tend to gravitate towards adults a lot, but there are children involved as well. So let's see if we can get them a set also. So here is the hat and the cowl. Today we're gonna do that cowl. Get ready. Okay, so for today's tutorial, you're going to need a few items. Of course, you're gonna need some yarn. For this particular cowl to match the hat, I use the same anti-pilling DK colors, Baltic by Premier. So that is what I used for that cowl. But now we need to make the matching one for the hat that we did in the previous tutorial. So for today's tutorial, I will be using the same yarn, Demore's Studio Anti-Pilling DK. It's a 50 gram ball. You're also gonna need a set of circular knitting needles or DPNs, whichever is up to you. Um, also, you can use the magic loop if you so choose and you're comfortable with doing that. You're gonna need a few stitch markers, roughly four or five, and a needle to sew in the ends when we have finished, a pair of scissors, and a measuring tape. The first thing that you're gonna wanna do is cast on 72 stitches. When you cast on the 72 stitches, you can do that again, however you so choose and feel comfortable with. I will be using the long tail cast on method. My total cowl from top to bottom is roughly five and a half inches. So I'm gonna cast on 72 stitches. Every 18 stitches, I'm gonna be placing a stitch marker. Once I have done that, I will be back and show you what to do next. Now, I'm going to show you how I connect in the round. I have my 72 stitches here. I'm gonna place one more stitch on. And I'll show you how I remove that stitch by connecting in the round. I'm going to scoot all my stitches towards the tips of my needles here. And of course, that first round is going to be tight anyway. But here's how I do it. I slip from right to left that new stitch. Then I take the very first stitch that I put on my needles and pass it over the slipped stitch. And it can be a little bit difficult. Sometimes you just gotta play with it a little bit. There we go. Now, once I have it passed over, I'm gonna drop it down onto that slipped stitch. Now I'm connected in the round. I'm just gonna tighten the tail end and my working yarn up. Now I can start my one by one knitting. I'm gonna knit this very first stitch, which it's a little cumbersome to start with, but once you get past the first stitch, you're good. 
So go ahead and knit that first stitch. There we go. Tighten that tail up a little bit. And you're gonna purl the next stitch. And here's your one by one. This is what you're gonna do all the way around. Knit one, purl one. Knit one, and purl one. And you're gonna make this knit, knit one, purl one, you're gonna do this knit one, purl one for five rounds. Once you have finished five rounds of ribbing, one by one ribbing, I will meet back up with you and we will continue on into the pattern. Okay, so I have done my five rounds of one by one ribbing. Let's begin the repeats. This is a four round repeat, just like the hat was. And once I have gone through the four rounds with you, I'm going to leave it to you to make it as tall as you want. I will give you the dimensions of mine once again and how to finish it off. Okay, so for round one, this is your repeat. Knit one, purl two, knit two, Purl two, knit one, purl one, knit one, purl two. Knit two, purl two, knit one, and purl one. Now all of the repeats for rounds one, two, three, and four will be down in the description box below. Go ahead and complete a round with that repeat and I will meet up with you for round two. Okay, let's begin the repeat for round two. Round two starts with a purl three. So one, two, and three. Knit one, two, purl one, Two, knit one, two, purl one, knit one, two, purl one, two, knit one, two, and purl one, two. That is your repeat for round two. I will meet up with you to show you the repeat for round three. Okay, so let's begin the repeat for round three. Round three starts with purl one, knit two, purl two, Knit two, purl three, one, two, three, knit two, purl two, knit two. Purl two, and that is your repeat for round three. Go ahead and continue around 
with the same repeat and I will meet up with you on round four. Okay, let's begin the repeat for round four. You start with a purl one. Knit two, purl two. Knit two, purl five. One, two, three, four, and five. Knit one, two, purl two, one, two, knit two, one, and two. That is your repeat for round four. And you're gonna repeat the, repeat the rounds one through four until you have the desired height. Now I'll tell you what mine is between the ribbing. We're looking at about three and three quarter inches between the bottom of this ribbing to the top of this ribbing, approximately three and three quarter inches. And again, the whole entire thing is five and a half inches tall. So once you have it to the height that you desire, you will finish off with a one by one ribbing and cast off in a one by one. So you cast off the same way that you were knitting. When I get to that point, I will show you how I cast off in pattern and we'll finish this up. Okay, so let's finish this up and I'm just gonna go ahead and remove my stitch marker cause it's no longer needed. And we're gonna start casting off. And just for a reference, I did the hat and this cow with one 50 gram ball of the Dearmore Studio Anti-Pilling. All right. So when I say that we need to cast off in pattern, what I mean is our first stitch is a knit the second one is a purl. Then slip that first stitch over the top of the second stitch. The next stitch is a knit stitch. Pass like that. Make sure when you're doing this that your stitches are not super tight because you want it to have some give, so that way it can go over the child's head. And you just alternate back and forth. If it's a purl stitch, purl it, then pass your previous stitched over. If it's a knit stitch, knit it, and then pass the previous one over. And just continue on all the way to the very end and sew in your ends. Once you have sewn in your ends, you are completely done. And you have a toddler set that you can send in to Rose at Rose Likes Crochet um, for the winter sets for wings in September. If you choose not to do that, that's fine. Just please give credit where credit is due. And until next time, everyone, be blessed, be a blessing, and bye for now.